All right, here's an old family favorite. This is a simple cauliflower aglio olio, which uh, aglio olio is just a spaghetti with oil and garlic on it. Uh, so we're going to add a few other things here, but we're going to keep it pretty basic. I have some olive oil, some uh, red pepper flakes. i got about six cloves of crushed garlic. Nice hunk of Reggiano. All right, get the real stuff. Come on, no fake cheese. And uh, some nice uh, Brilla. This is the uh, plus spaghetti. That's the whole grain version. We've been using that a lot lately. Really nice stuff. One head of cauliflower that I just separated. This is the water I'm going to boil my pasta in. So uh, I'm going to save a step here. I'm not going to uh, have two pots. I'm just going to blanch that for about five minutes in the salted water. All right, I fished it out, put it in some cold water. I don't need to put it in ice water. I just want to uh, cool it enough to handle it so that I can go ahead and uh, chop it up. All right, to prep the cauliflower for the sauce, uh, not too complicated. But I do want you to notice a real subtle thing here. The tops, which are going to fall apart a lot faster, I'm going to leave those in bigger pieces. I'm just going to like maybe quarter those. The stem part, as you see what I'm doing there, I'm just giving that a little bit of a smaller dice. Because I kind of want this to fall apart at the end into the same size pieces. Uh, and you'll, you're going to see that later when we finish the sauce. But uh, to make that a little easier, uh, the stems I want you to cut just a little smaller than the tops. All right, I think a mistake people make when they make these uh, vegetable pastas, they leave the vegetables in large chunks, so you're basically eating vegetable with pasta. It's like a separate component. I want the vegetable to actually be the sauce. All right, so to prep our sauce here, I have a skillet on medium-low. I don't want it too hot. I don't want the butter to brown. All right, add your olive oil. That's a third of a cup, half a stick of butter, and just let the butter melt. Now, you know, you, I could just let it melt, but of course I'm going to stir it around because I, I like to play with my food. It's kind of fun. So give it a stir. And when the butter melts, you're going to grab your garlic and be very careful. Again, I want to repeat, this heat's on medium-low. The garlic is not supposed to brown at all. We just want to kind of explode that garlic flavor into the oil. So we're just going to give it about a 15-second, 20-second uh, sizzle. And the beauty of having that cauliflower chopped and ready as soon as you toss it in here, that's what I'm going to do right now, that's basically going to bring the temperature of that oil down, and we won't have to worry about that garlic burning. So that was just to sizzle the garlic, again, maybe 15, 20 seconds on medium to medium low. Uh, have your cauliflower ready, because if you see any color on that garlic, get that cauliflower in there. And that's basically it. Now, to help this along, we want this to simmer on low while our pasta cooks. I want you to add about, I don't know, maybe three quarters of a cup of the pasta water. Again, this is uh, all stuff you can adjust as you cook. If it's getting looks like it's getting a little dry, add some more water. All right, if it looks like it's too watery, just reduce it a little bit. So that's what I'm after. It, it really turns into a beautiful, creamy, uh, almost like a cauliflower puree with a few chunks. Uh, at this point, I'm going to add my uh, hot pepper, about a tablespoon, I guess. That's, of course, to taste and a nice healthy couple pinches of salt. And this is kind of a bland uh, vegetable, obviously, cauliflower. And uh, you need to really season this, uh, season this well. And just let that simmer on low while your pasta cooks. So your pasta is going to take about 10 minutes, which is a just perfect timing, because that's what this simmers for, about 10 minutes. And you can see that's what I'm after. All right, so kind of a creamy sauce. Uh, it's uh, got a few chunks. Drain your pasta. Do not rinse. Repeat, do not rinse. All right, you want the pasta to have a little bit of starch on the outside of it. It's going to grab onto the sauce. All right, you're going to dump your cauliflower, butter, olive oil, garlic mixture in there. And, man, I wish you could smell this. It's just uh, amazing. It smells amazing. It tastes amazing. Now, we're going to finish this with a couple optional ingredients. I had some basil from the garden, so I chopped it up. It's about a I don't know, two, three tablespoons of chopped basil. Uh, Italian parsley is really nice in this. All right, and of course, uh, what really makes it, I think, is this finely grated Reggiano Parmesan. All right, so dump that in there. Grab your tongs and just give it a toss. Now you want all the pasta to be coated. And uh, so I'm going to toss this. I'm going to get a nice uh, pasta bowl ready here. And basically, I'm just going to finish it with a little bit of uh, extra cheese on top. All right, so just coat the pasta with the aglio olio and the cauliflower. And you're going to see a serving here. And again, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, cauliflower, not the top of my list of uh, vegetables I, I run for when I get to the store. 
but uh, I think once you taste this and you realize just how easy this is to make, uh, I think it's just a fantastic uh, dinner or lunch. Uh, some people put breadcrumbs on top. There's lots of variations on this. But there's your basic cauliflower alia olia spaghetti. Um, again, I think the uh, a lot of garlic's a key and the hot pepper. Enjoy!